I was simply um, removed from my job for praying on the 50 yard line alone by myself. Former public high school football coach Joe Kennedy will finally have his case heard at the Supreme Court. It's been a long uh, battle. After the 2015 football season following seven previous years of coaching, Kennedy lost his job at Bremerton High School in Washington State. The school upset with his years-long tradition of taking a knee and praying on the 50-yard line after games. Now, Kennedy hopes for a favorable ruling from the Supreme Court that could get him back on the sidelines with his team. But the Bremerton School District, represented by Americans United for Separation of Church and State, argues no child attending public school should have to pray to play school sports. This case is about protecting impressionable students who felt pressured by their coach to participate repeatedly in public prayer. Americans United told EWTN News in depth they would be unavailable to follow up with an interview. But Kennedy says you can ask the players themselves. Not a one of them has ever felt pressured. Over the years, some of his players or players from the other team joined him at the 50 yard line, but he says the school still took issue when he prayed silently alone. And the whole idea of somebody losing their job just for praying, it still boggles my mind. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has sided with the Bremerton School District, ruling that the school could forbid Kennedy's public prayers to respect the separation of church and state. Last year, a judge on the appellate court said Kennedy initially offered silent private prayers while on the job, but added an increasingly public and audible element to his prayers over the next approximately seven years. Kennedy's lawyer says keeping prayer repressed is unconstitutional. To say that prayer in public is wrong and needs to be hidden from view, that actually sends a message of hostility towards religion that would be, would be teaching the kids on the field and anybody else who cared to see it, that religion in public is wrong. The First Amendment says quite the opposite, as a matter of fact. If the Ninth Circuit ruling isn't overturned by the Supreme Court, First Liberty Institute argues a dangerous precedent could be set and claims public school employees could be fired for things like praying before meals. Or they could fire the, the teacher who's wearing a yarmulke in the hallways of the school or a crucifix or a hijab. All those things are outward displays of religion that are visible to every student in the in the facility. The Catholic Church teaches all people have a right to religious freedom. The Vatican II document Dignitatis Humanae, a declaration on religious freedom, states, this freedom means that all men are to be immune from coercion on the part of individuals or of social groups and of any human power. It continues, the social nature of man, however, itself requires that he should give external expression to his internal acts of religion, that he should share with others in matters religious. Coach Kennedy spent years preparing his players for football battle, but this former Marine says he's now fighting for the Constitution he once vowed to protect. Just want to be able to have the free speech, just like everybody else in America. Mark Irons, EWTN News In Depth.